Hey Dominik. Hey Steffen. How do you publish from WordPress to social media? Yeah, that's the second question, right, that we can ask. And again, there are different ways to do that. I guess, like, you first have to tell me, like, what kind of social network do you want to publish to, right? So, um, because usually it's uh, really dependent on the social media network. It is not if you use, like, an aggregator, and there are several of these out there as well, like uh, different services, but usually you need a uh, plugin for WordPress that uh, will connect to the uh, specific social network. And in the social network, you have to create usually like an OAuth app. That's uh, what it's called. So you need to authenticate yourself on this platform as like the WordPress user that you want to uh, publish for. So you, you go into WordPress, the WP admin, and then you click uh, authenticate. And then you will be taken to the social media network. Say, okay, I allow this um, a website to access my data via an API. And then you will have like your credentials stored in WordPress. And every time that you publish a post and you can usually select what kind of post types you want that to be, then these will be published as like a social media post. And of course, there are like a lot of differences between these social uh, networks because um, in Twitter, you cannot post that many characters. In other social networks, you only post video. In others, only you, uh, you only post text. In others, you only post images and so on. Sometimes this can be automated where you say, you, like there is a mapping inside of the plug plugin where you say, okay, this um, featured image is always like the post image and then the text, you will just copy as text. But sometimes you will also, um, in the publishing workflow inside of WordPress, you will have to make the adjustments to say what should be the content of the social media uh, post that you want to have. Yeah. yeah, and I actually really prefer that because when you want to fully automize it so that it would only post that new blog post or news to social media with the given title and the description, I think this is rather uncommon and this doesn't look very exciting to people, right? But for social networks, you want to have some custom text, some custom description to talk about your post, right? Unless it really just is a, hey, I want to make sure it's out there. And we sometimes did that, I think, for rather for something like posting something to a Twitter profile where you post a lot of other stuff. But for especially something like LinkedIn or Facebook, I think it's very common that you should have a customized description and, and title that you prepare and then maybe uh, schedule it so that it automatically just gets posted when the article is getting published. Yeah, I also think um, this direct publishing to from WordPress to social media is actually a bit outdated. So um, this was people did that a lot at the beginning of Facebook, or like when companies started to use Facebook, when co companies started to use Twitter, because they thought that, yeah, I want my content to be online there as well, right? But nowadays, it's more like it has to be integrated into the communication strategy into the marketing strategy of the um, of the company. And uh, a lot of the times, it doesn't make sense to just publish the content also on a social network. But you rather, and we're probably getting into this in, in some later episodes, you rather want to share your the article on your homepage, like uh, on your website, on the social uh, networks, and not the not only the content, but really the link. And then maybe like add some text, some personal text to it that can be customized. And this, I mean, you can do uh, on the platform itself or again, use like some social media aggregator, right? But I, I think it's every social network has like its own rules and its own type of community. And um, usually um, you will not be successful nowadays if you just post the stuff that you have on your website, also on the social media networks, but you need some additional like value for the people uh, right if it's like the the expert that just says hey people here's a new article from our website usually like maybe on twitter you tweet a lot about these topics as well anyways and then you can just point there and maybe you'll get some uh, some more traffic on the site so it's it's always like has to be seen in the whole like in, in the total picture yeah so there are these uh, social media aggregators you called them do you mean things like like buffer.com like where you can yeah. schedule posts to post to multiple networks yes 
Yeah, right. I, I really like these. Um, then also, you could still automize it in a different way with tools like Zapier, which are just like tools to connect certain APIs and create web automations and so on. That's also possible. And I'd suggest let's add a couple of links to plugins to do automatic publishing of social media. But generally, our recommendation is rather against it and to at least like take the time to really prepare your content specifically for each social network. Yeah, exactly. I think that's it, right? Good. <laughs> Thanks. Good.